You don't collect statistics on every column in a table because it takes up space. It's a little bit like someone who's doing the United States Census coming into your house and saying, well, how many people live here? Well, there's five of us. That makes sense. How many people use a pencil? Hey, who cares? You're wasting my time here. Do you really need that information? So you don't collect on statistics on everything, only the important columns. But that's the tricky part about this. What am I going to collect on? Well, collect on all non-unique primary indexes and all non-unique secondary indexes. Why non-unique more importantly than unique? Well, in any unique index, we know we only have one value because it's unique. In a non-unique primary index or secondary index like last name, we want to know how many Smiths we have versus Wilsons versus Patels versus Chins. So that's important that you get more statistics to the parsing engine so it can determine when using an index how many rows it thinks are coming back. Non-index columns used in joins. I'm joining on customer number and customer number. You collect statistics on those customer numbers. The unique primary index of small tables. Remember, Teradata does joins by either redistributing one of the tables in many cases or duplicating the smaller table. So it's important that the parsing engine knows which tables are small columns that frequently appear in the WHERE clause or search conditions or WHERE clause of joins. The primary index of a join index, important to collect statistics there. Secondary index that are defined on any joins, you want to collect statistics on those and join index columns that frequently appear in the WHERE clause, that's also important. The most important things non-unique primary and secondary indexes so that the optimizer really can take advantage of when to do those or sometimes it'll consider a full table scan instead. Needs to know statistical information.